Hello and welcome to interest.co.nz. I'm Gareth Vaughan with our monthly Never a Dull Moment Currencies Report and I'm joined by Dan Bell, Director of Sales at HiFX. Welcome in again, Dan. Thanks, Gareth. Good to be here. Now look, at, finally it happened. We've been talking all year, possibly longer, about uh, the US Federal Reserve and whether they were going to increase the federal fund funds rate, their equivalent of the OCR, of course. Mm-hmm. They did it on the 17th of December. Now, I guess there wasn't really much surprise that, that this happened, but um, still a monumental event after the, the events of the last few years. So, so how's it uh, gone down? Indeed. So, yep, the, the Federal Reserve finally raised the uh, their, their benchmark interest rate by 0.25 of a percent. Um, so that's the first rate hike since 2006 for the US Federal Reserve. Obviously, they aggressively cut interest rates through a period of time, and we've been sitting around that level for quite a number of years since the GFC. So it was look. It was good to see uh, that they've finally made it made a decision on that front. I think um, they've been telegraphing it for a long, long time. Uh, at the start of the year, they were pretty certain that they were going to raise interest rates this year. Um, they got um, they got a little bit unsettled during that period of Chinese stock market volatility back in September, when global equity markets were down sort of ten percent or so. And a lot of the market thought that they would have raised by September. So they've seen that things have stabilised. Um, their economy is, is is still moving in the right direction. Uh, it's not gangbusters, um, but it's moving in the right direction. The labour market has significantly improved, um, and it's time to start raising uh, raising raising interest rates. Now, one of the interesting things has been the New Zealand dollar has been quite strong again, um, up to 68 US cents um, for, for a while there. Mm. And it's looking today almost 94 Aussie cents, TWI nearly 73. Yeah. Um, what's going on with that? I mean, we, we sort of thought, didn't we, that, that uh, a US hike would perhaps um, soften the New Zealand dollar. The Reserve Bank in New Zealand, of course, cut the OCR again back mm-hmm. to 2.5% now, unwinding all of last year's hikes this That's year right. with cuts. Mm. So, so what's going on with that Kiwi dollar? Yeah, ordinarily, if you look at the fundamentals um, for the New Zealand dollar, you would expect that the Kiwi would be lower. Um, certainly uh, an interest rate cut from the RBNZ last week was, um, was, 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 was broadly expected, wasn't 100% priced in. So I think um, some economists were surprised to see the RBNZ cut the cash rate last week. But what was interesting um, was uh, really the response of the New Zealand dollar after the after the announcement was um, you know we, we we strengthened quite significantly and uh, what what, uh, what what's 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 happened is that the market has taken the commentary from the RBNZ to suggest that we're not going to see any further interest rate cuts um, next year and uh, inflation is going to tick up um, going forward. So suddenly we're looking at maybe we've found a bottom for uh, the cash rate in New Zealand again. Our economy is, is is okay. I mean, we recorded a 0.9% uh, increase in GDP in the third quarter, which was a little bit better than expected. Um, and the world has sort of calmed down to, uh, to to a point where we're not expecting China to fall off a cliff. So risk appetite is stabilised. But I still think with the way uh, commodity prices have unwound this year and how we're continuing to see pressure on particularly energy prices, obviously um, milk prices have been hammered this year as well, but if you look at oil prices again, sitting around that 35 US dollar a barrel um, and that ongoing pressure that we're expecting to see there because you know we're still seeing... Uh, we're not seeing a huge response from OPEC on that front. They continue to, to produce more and um, I think we'll continue to see pressure there. So, yeah, the Kiwi is is frustratingly strong at the moment uh, and certainly not where the Reserve Bank in New Zealand wants it to be. Uh, I think uh, if you go back to September this year we got down to a low of around 62.50 or so against the US um, and we've had a very very strong recovery from there from 62 all the way up to almost 69 hovering around 67.5 cents at the moment um, and it doesn't look like it wants to go down uh, for the time being. So look, as, as the, the year winds down, Dan, um, we look into 2016, what's the outlook next year? I mean, uh, you know, I guess firstly with the New Zealand dollar and, 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 and I guess the key factors driving currency markets around the world, the Fed, China, mm-hmm. and, and you know, I see Japan is, is, is still printing for Africa, uh, more money printing there, the ECB obviously still printing in Europe. Yeah. Um, and, and closer to home, the, I guess Australia and what's their economy going to do? and. And what might we see from the Reserve Bank of New Zealand? 
Well, I think you know you have to look at the divergence uh, in monetary policy at the moment and what's happening in the US and the clear intention of the US Central Bank to um, attempt to normalise their interest rate setting. And they've basically indicated that they're going to raise um, rates once every quarter next year, obviously data dependent. Um, so they've given a clear signal that they're going to be raising interest rates which will continue to support the US dollar. So fundamentally I think the US dollar will outperform. Um, the European Central Bank are still committed to quantitative easing and uh, a much more, uh, a much more um, um, st stimulatory settings uh, for, the, for their economy. I mean negative interest rates and printing money you can't get much more stimulatory than that. Uh, likewise with Japan they're in the same, they've got the same um, um, posture at the moment around their interest rate settings with quantitative easing and, uh, and, and low interest rates. So the US um, I think will the US dollar will, 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 will strengthen into next year. Against the New Zealand dollar and the Aussie dollar Again, I don't think our, our central banks are going to be in too much of a hurry to do much next year. Some of the um, some of the commentary coming out of uh, out of the Fed, out of the RBA, out of the RBNZ, even is that the the current inflation environment uh, is being impacted by um, the calculation of of the lower um, the impact of the lower oil prices into the annual calculation of of, of the CPI or inflation index. So what, we, what, what they're suggesting is when we get into next year and that calculation gets, gets, gets you know, reset into a new year that um, the inf inflation will actually start to, to push up as it's calculated on an annualised basis. Um, whether or not we're going to see inflation take off next year, I'm, I'm, I'm not personally convinced. I mean, we've been talking about the inflation genie for a long time now and it still hasn't come out of the bottle. Um, does the global uh, growth outlook support um, a significant uh, um, threat or risk of high inflation next year? I, I don't believe so. Um, certainly growth is still pretty tepid globally and um, it seems as if um, most central banks are still pretty pretty concerned about the outlook uh, for, for their economy. So yes, we'll see the Fed raising interest rates and I think that'll continue to support the US dollar. but. I don't see a huge response from the RBNZ. Um, I think it's going to give the RBNZ a little bit more room to manoeuvre if in fact we did see an uptick in inflation um, that the Fed are raising interest rates but um, they need to obviously take into account the impact that, that has on the dollar and at this point in time as I said before uh, they didn't expect the New Zealand dollar to be as strong as it is at the moment and if they maintain a more hawkish outlook around inflation, um, I think they'll see this Kiwi dollar continue to push up. I mean, we got over 94 cents against the Aussie dollar the other day. Um, we could easily be back over 70 cents against the US dollar. Uh, and when our terms of trade has been hammered like it has this year with um, particularly milk prices down a good 50%, that's not where, uh, you know, where, where the Reserve Bank wants to see our currency. So currency will continue to be a big issue for them next year, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and interesting times, I guess, for someone in your line of work um, with, with that volatility. So, I mean, are we looking at a, yet another year of, of volatility for the New Zealand dollar? I mean, you're talking possibly up to 70 US cents? Yeah, look, we are we are going to see another volatile year. I think um, in a year where the Fed are going to going to be raising interest rates, um, the market will be watching the data flow out of the US very very closely. At the same time, um, you've still got um, certain risks in China. You've got um, ongoing issues in, in in certain economies in the European region. Um, you've got geopolitical tensions that seem to be just getting worse through the Middle East and, and other parts of the world. Um, so there's plenty to keep the market guessing next year and that will flow through to volatility. So this year the Kiwi dollar has had a range of uh, about 25% against the US dollar. Uh, it averages around 20%. People forget how volatile our currency is even in the best of years. Um, so next year again will be another volatile year and with uncertainty from the biggest central bank in the world, you can guarantee that that will be a big driver. Um, so I think the main thing for, uh, for businesses that are exposed to currency is to have a plan. That's, the, that's the, the key message, is not to try and guess or forecast what's going to happen, it's to have a plan. Start the year with a plan and follow through with a, with a strategy and a plan that, uh, that makes sense to your, uh, to your business. Um, but for sure, yeah, volatility will be here next year in spades. Absolutely. Well, thanks a lot for that, Dan, and uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year yeah, to you. You too. Cheers. And uh, I'm Gareth Vaughan at interest.co.nz with our monthly Never a Dull Moment Currencies Report.